Welcome to DW's Artist Access. I'm Linda Ceballos. Today we're at the home of Julio Figueroa. Born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, his multicultural background makes him a much sought after drummer, producer, music director, and so much more. Let's go inside and see what he's up to. Julio, thank you so much for having us at your home, your home studio. This is great. Yeah. This is wonderful. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to lately. I'm almost completing five years uh, working with Gloria Trevi, Latin artist Gloria Trevi. I've been uh, her United States musical director and uh, drummer for pretty much five years now. And uh, doing great. Uh, she just won uh, Premio Lo Nuestro as Best uh, Female Pop Artist. And uh, the new album has done incredibly well. We had a uh, number one hit in Mexico, a number one uh, hit in Latin America and in several countries. Uh, we were number five at Billboard wow. here in the United States. So it's been exciting. It's been a great year. Well, so as year. well as touring and being her musical director and playing drums for her, you said you are, you're producing. We're in your studio. Mm -hmm. How much time do you spend down here doing that? A lot. A lot of time. A lot. Yeah. yeah. This has been an incredible blessing having the studio at home. Mm -hmm. uh, we built it at about a year and a half ago, and um, man, it's been incredible. We produced a lot of albums. We actually had uh, a Latin Christian album produced here that went number one on the radio. A uh, singer from Puerto Rico named Edwin Maldonado. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did stuff for Pee Wee here, for Diego Gonzalez, from Rebelde, uh, for Gloria as well. Wow. And uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of cool projects here, and it's great. I just come downstairs. This is basically <laughs> the basement of the home. And uh, so my wife is upstairs, the dogs are upstairs, uh -huh. and I come here and I can have fun and no one bothers me, so I love it. Well, you're doing a lot. I mean, you're obviously very talented. You're producing, you're touring, musical director. Is there one of those areas that you tend to go, okay, this is where I'm most passionate, or this is where I find myself in, you know, in my element? Well, playing the drums, that's my passion. Um, I mean, being uh, on the road with like whether it's uh, Diego or Gloria Trevi or Pee Wee, I'm, you know, I'm usually doing musical direction, contracting, tour managing, uh, you name it. I mean, I'm in charge of a lot of responsibilities, uh -huh. and uh, the best part is when when I get up on stage and play. Right. So uh, you know, that's always fun. Sometimes it's nice to decompress and just do a gig playing drums, <laughs> where I'm not in charge of all the musicians' tags, uh, contracting. I can just go and have fun. Because sure. there's always stuff happening on the road that I have to solve. And you also, aside from all of that that we just discussed, you also do clinics, correct? Mm -hmm. How much time do you spend doing clinics throughout the year? Well, usually the way we've been working um, with the clinics is that if I'm playing a certain country ah. or a certain city with the artist, and then I contact DW, which is my primary endorsement. Sure. DW Drums, I love them. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> and, uh, and they contact the local distributor, oh. and then that's how we've been handling it. So I can go one day in advance, or, or maybe stay for an extra day, mm -hmm. or a couple of extra days, and uh, do clinics. The last one I did for DW was in Ecuador. I was yeah. playing in Quito mm -hmm. uh, for three nights, and uh, the local distributor Organize a clinic in Quito, and then another one in Cuenca, and uh, I had a great time. But I was wow. already in Quito, right. so it helps a lot because the airfare is covered. Sure. Uh, I have a hotel room. If I need to stay for any extra days, then that's obviously right. a separate deal. But but I'm not really touring, doing clinics as my you know primary source of income right. or as my primary gig. Right. It's just the icing on the cake to you know go out there and share. Uh, drums and percussion. Which is so nice. Isn't that wonderful to be able to give back in that way? Oh, I, I, I love it. Good. But, you know, like I said, my passion is playing the drums. Absolutely. It's I, why we're here, know, right? I, right now I have a week, uh, you know, pretty much the week off uh, till the weekend. So I'm planning on practicing three to four hours a day. And I just come here and have a ball playing. I'm going through a, several different books right now, studying. Uh, Alan Dawson's book, which is phenomenal, uh, was written by John Ramsey from uh -huh. Berkeley. And I'm enjoying that book a lot. And, uh, and just brushing up you know, technique and uh, having fun. Great. Well, speaking of your drums and DW, mm -hmm. um, you have your DW drum kit back here. So um, tell us a little bit about how it's set up. We're in your studio. You obviously mm -hmm. have it set up a certain way. Does that differ than when you're on stage playing live? Yeah, basically here at the studio, I, um, 
I set up the rooms according to the project. Uh -huh. So right now I'm recording a project where this, you know, specific configuration works great. Uh, this is a 22 inches base room, DW Collector's broken glass finish. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I also have a 24 by 18 and I have a 20. So depending on the music, you know, I switch base rooms, you know, 24, 22, 20. Tom's, same, same deal. I have 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18. Wow. So depending on, on the project, I, you know, accommodate the drums. And these are like 10, 12, 14, uh, 20, 12, 16, I'm sorry. 14 inches in there, and um, you know the symbols are. It's pretty much the same setup always. Always. And now, why uh, why do you use this kit? Is there a specific sound that you oh, yeah. like about this kit? Yeah. Tell me about that. Dynamite. Dynamite. It's what uh, John Good calls VLT vertical low tone, and uh, it's just phenomenal. You get you get some subs, you get some bass, you know, frequencies that you you do not normally get with you know. Uh, the regular uh -huh. build, you know, drum sets, and I just love it. it sounds great. And by the way, I, I also play a lot of percussion, so um, that's right. I don't have any gun bobs set up here, but you know, I, I also have a huge, you know, set of percussion that if I'm doing a percussion gig, then it comes with me, and um, and you know, three congas, timbales, bongos, uh -huh. toys, and the gun bobs, They sound great. I'm actually uh, playing the Alex Aquina series now, which I yeah. love. And by the way, Alex is a dear friend of mine. Yes. He uh, was the best man at my wedding. Oh, wonderful. He actually walked my wife. Wow. Up to me at church. Oh, and, uh, that's wonderful. So, hey, Alex, I Hello. love you. <laughs> yes, we've uh, interviewed Alex several times. He's a, a wonderful family, and, and yeah. we've enjoyed working with him as well. Yeah, they're great. Now, can someone go and see you play at gigs that you're doing in town? Absolutely. Um, actually, what I've been doing on my website um, I just, I've been posting even the church dates, so it's an opportunity to, for people to come by and say hi. Sure. I'm currently not doing club dates. Uh -huh. uh, I haven't done club dates in a while, unless mm -hmm. it's like really good music like jazz, or Brazilian jazz, Latin jazz, um, mm -hmm. some music that I really dig sure. and I, I want to play. But I, you know, I just been declining club calls for, yeah. for like the last four, four or five years. Well, you are doing plenty, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> you well, need a little time with your family and your wife. And <laughs> yeah, it's you know, I mean, to be quite honest, Sunday mornings I have to be at church at uh, seven thirty in the morning. Right. Sure. So why am I gonna go out and kill myself playing a club gig? You know? Yeah. And so if you want to check him out, like he said, it's on his website. Mm -hmm. um, he has all the schedule on there, saddlebacks on there, and the dates that he's in town, and just some, you know, your body bio, background information, mm -hmm. check them out. Yeah, it's www.juliafigueroa.com. Now, let me explain that one, because people uh -huh. go, isn't it Julio? Because it's with Right, it's with the J. But we both, myself and my wife, are from Brazil, and, uh, you know, our uh, first language and native language is Portuguese, so mm -hmm. in Portuguese it would be Julio with Julio. a J. Julio. But actually my real name, the way uh, my parents intended it to be, is Julio with a G-I-U-L-A-O. But then my... Um, artistic name became Julia with a J. Well, we appreciate your time and Thank we're you. very excited with everything that you're doing. It's really inspiring and um, we appreciate you know you taking the time to talk to us and, and letting all those other young aspiring drummers hear yes. a little bit about your story. Can and I thank my sponsors? Yes, here? absolutely. Okay, I want to take a chance because these guys have uh, blessed me incredibly, you know, with uh, with gear and equipment and, and meeting my needs as far as uh, what I need to perform and make music. So obviously DW and uh, Gone Bobs, uh, which is part of DW Absolutely. Percussion. Remo Heads, they've been incredible. Thank you Remo guys, uh, Regal Tip. And um, also, you know what? Check out these shoes. Uh -oh. Can you see them? Urban Boards from Brazil, drummer shoes. Wow, They're amazing, shoes. <laughs> and I love them. You know, I play faster now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everyone. Uh, Digi Design, um, which has been uh, incredible, bringing, you know, just brought me Pro Tools 8 and plugins, and awesome, you know, it really helps me here in the studio. Audix microphones, uh, you know, giving me microphones, and uh, if you go to my website, there's a, you know, there's an email address, there's yeah. a telephone number, so you're, you're welcome to, uh, Get in touch. Yeah, please do. There you go. Don't it's be a, a stranger. That is an invitation directly from the man. Yes. So please do so. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time at DW's Artist Access. Bye.